What are reverse candles and how do they work? So they reverse all kinds of negativity, hexes, de ojo, gossip, and negativity sent towards you. This doesn't only have to be for magic related issues, but if someone is unjustifiably talking shit about you, for instance, then this would be the candle to turn on or even a group of people. But the point is, is to wipe off all the negativity, to send it back to whoever was sending it towards you. Obviously, this could be used irresponsibly, but I'm expecting all of my viewers to use them responsibly. Any of these candles here are all examples of reversals. You can also use reversals to reverse the spell that you did that went wrong. So if you mess up or if you did a spell that has results that you don't like, you would turn one of these on. You would light one of these. Now what people don't know, these will only work up to a certain degree. When the witches are professional and far advanced, reversals won't work. It might break the hex off of you, but as far as sending it back to whoever sent it, it won't work. So another thing about how they work is that you never know who it's going to hit. Like I said before, this will barely do anything to the experienced witch, and believe me, there are very, very, very few. So, some people are protected, some people built their hex to reverse onto someone else. So, so some of the people you're going to be using these reversals on might be protected, they might have made the spell to reverse onto someone else, or whatever the case may be, be aware that reversals can hit other people. So, sometimes these spells will hit the children of the attacker simply because that's what hurts the most or just because their child wasn't protected and they were. When you're not a professional witch, you can't see if it hit or not. When you do reversals on someone who's already protected and who's advanced and professional, most likely it's not even going to make a difference in their life. But sometimes it just makes little things happen. So. Sometimes the person just gets a parking ticket or whatever and some people are very vengeful So this isn't what they want. They want more I just want to put that out there because most people don't know that reversals also don't work on black magic when spells are truly black magic It will not do the job Many famous hoodoo pages on here drop spells that are easily reversible. So don't worry about that It has happened to me and I have used a million reversals and it has not made a single difference when I was hexed with black magic for those you're going to need to see a professional or um go to the website below el black euphoria there's heavier reversal candles and stronger more powerful hex breaking candles which is most practitioners really don't go up to that high degree most of the spells you find online on youtube and all of those things those are easy to reverse all of these will work so you don't have to worry you know about your enemy knowing more than you the most common type of reversals are in the glass novena candle. I hate using these simply because I hate leaving anything that's not 100% natural wax burning in my house unsupervised for days on end. These take way longer, obviously, but these little six inch candles, right? These burn down in a few hours in less than a day and it does the same job as this. I don't know about you, but the faster I can get a spell or negativity off of me, I would much rather opt for that. So these candles are all found on genepool.com. There's natural skull reversal candles and there's paraffin candles as well. So the paraffin is always gonna be the cheaper option. People who need to reverse more stronger spells would use more of these. Uh, I'll get three of these, light them at once and it will do the job. And it does it pretty damn well. Three of these candles are just as potent as doing these. I try to stop using these completely just because it takes way too long. They are still effective, don't get me wrong. Like I just said, if you are trying to reverse something a little more serious, I would get three of the same candles and I would burn them all at once. Uncrossing candle, for people who have been doing headworking on you, for people who have been wishing ill upon you, and in general, for when you have lingering bad or negative thoughts. So for example, if someone was constantly thinking negatively of me, wishing ill on me, and I keep picking up on their thoughts, make sure it's not paranoia. If I kept picking up on their negative thoughts being sent or aimed towards me, then I would definitely get one of these candles. Light one of these to uncross the situations and help me clear my mind and help me focus. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the colors. Black accumulates all of the negativity, all of the hexes. Red sends it back. These are black on top, red on bottom, and these are red on top, black on bottom. If you really, really want to be technical, you would want to use a black on top, red on bottom. You want the black to take the negativity, the hexes and everything, and then you want the red to send it back. So as the candle burns down, that's what they do. There's seven day candles that are, um, that are just 
not in the glass and you can burn them down as well some people butt them i would never butt them. i've seen spells where people light the tip and then butt it out and then do it from the bottom as like a way to reverse what i've always learned is that once you light the wick you start the candle you start the spell so never ever put a reversal out you never put a reversal out so um i don't do those spells where you light the candle then you put them out and then light it again because that is not as effective not as powerful as just lighting the candle and letting it go off like a bomb but the green one this is specifically for money success and fortune so if someone hex your money success and fortune and you use a red candle guess what it's actually not gonna work how do i know that because it's happened to me i like results and i'm all about results so Please listen to me guys about this because if you are under any kind of money hex or any situation like that, I wouldn't want you to mess up. I want to make sure you guys can get that removed, get it off. If it's a more serious situation, then I would use three of these at once and burn them down all at once. This candle is a black candle that burns red. It's also a reversal as well, but you can also use it for hexing. As for the red, the red is for... Of course, all the general hexes that there are that people can send you. So this will remove most of them, if not all of them. Last thing is that witches who do serious black magic, serious dark spell work should not be doing these reversals because at times it will blow up in your face. Not bad, but it's like the same thing I said earlier where dance witches, if you try to reverse their spell onto them, they'll get maybe like what, a parking ticket or they'll trip and fall. They'll never get something super serious with witches who do black magic though if you do serious and heavy black magic try not to use these unless you really have to and then if you have to try to make it specific just because it does reverse what you do as well so little minor things can happen in your life like your car might break down out of nowhere that's happened to me before but again i do very serious and dark and black magic you obviously won't get hit with your own spell, but you'll get a very very small taste and i guess you could say this also has to do with the colors on the reversals Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because we'll be doing a big spell giveaway soon.